I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and today is day three of Vlogmas, and it's time for a Friday Sews, which is created by Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room. So today I'm going to tell you all about what I've been working on, and also what I have coming up. Some of this is holiday related. I'm sewing a gift, as well as planning for my ugly Christmas sweater. So let's talk a little quietly about this one because I'm making gifts for a couple of special people in my life. And actually, I'm making the Ludlow wristlet by Hold It Right There Patterns. And I can just show you the progress that I've made on it. I actually hope to finish it up today. But this is the front. I use leather from a jacket that my mother had given me. Um, so it's repurposed leather. A silk Mikado that I had in my stash and then some black zippers. And then for the lining on the inside, you can see that I use a pink um, poly lining that I had picked up for a jacket that I had made earlier this year. And I really do love the way this is coming together. I mean, this is just a front panel. Um, here's the back one. So I think it's gonna be really cute when everything is said and done. It's taking a lot longer than I had really thought it would take me. And I think it's mostly because I couldn't decide what to cut out of my silk Mikado, what to cut out of the leather, and really what kind of fit on the leather. Because when I deconstructed that leather jacket, I mean, there were a lot of seams in it. And well, this is pretty much the entire leather jacket. Can you believe that? <laughs> An entire leather jacket is in there. Such little pieces. I'm happy that I decided to start with this wristlet for gifts because otherwise it would have been really difficult to kind of just fit all of my pattern pieces onto that little tiny jacket. I also made another hat. This really beautiful fuchsia pork pie hat. And look at the fun stitching on the back there, the top of it. You all, I am having so much fun making these. And look, I made a coordinating purple hat band for options. I mean, who doesn't love options? I made my own sweatband out of a pigskin lining. This is a chrome free one. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into my hat and then it's going to be done. So this is another project that I'm actually hoping just to kind of finish up at some point tonight some of the upcoming sewing plans that I have. Tomorrow I'm meeting up with a local sewing group here in Maryland, and actually it's not that local to me. I'm driving over to Annapolis to meet up with them, but we're all going to be making Morse bags and donating them to like, I believe they're going to food banks in the area. And I'm really looking forward to making these. The purpose of making these Morse bags is to kind of get plastic out of the environment. So these will be donated and hopefully well used and loved. Let me show you the fabric that I'm planning on using for mine. I'm using this fabric. And actually, these are old curtains that I had hanging in my house. It was one of the first things that I made when I first moved into this house many years ago. And I mean, it's quite wide. So I think I could, I'll be able to get plenty of bags out of this. So one of my goals today, or realistically, tomorrow early morning will be to actually cut out the Morse bag patterns so that way I can just take the cut pieces and sew them up when I'm with the rest of the ladies. And one of the things that I've been slowly gathering a whole bunch of stuff for is my ugly holiday sweater. Now, I am super pumped and I found this inspiration picture and I just thought it was perfection. I'm gonna try to do something similar to that. You are, and if you've made an ugly holiday sweater in the past, let me know in the comments below what you did. <laughs> because you are, some of you are super creative and I need to know, I, I, I just do. <laughs> I plan on having this sweater done well before the 19th because I'm gonna be joining in on this exercise workout, like fit for the holidays and you are, I just, I'm gonna wear my ugly Christmas sweater. Actually, it's like ugly Christmas sweater slash 
workout gear themed. So if you guys want to also make one, you can join in on the workout on the 19th with me and I'll put the de details in the description box below. But if you're not into working out and you just want to make an ugly Christmas sweater, that's awesome too. And there's actually going to be a really fun challenge with a prize. So I'll be sure to share all of the details with you as soon as they get firmed up. It's so much fun. I don't know why I get excited about making an ugly holiday sweater. Um, I am going to do just kind of a not so ugly pattern. <laughs> I'm going to use this one, which is the Wilma hoodie by Cedar Not Patterns. I mean, it's a pretty nice basic pattern that I can juice up whichever way I'd like to go. So I'm going to go with this pattern right over here and hopefully make my Christmas tree inspiration sweater happen. I really do hope that you all join in and just make a fun, ugly sweater for yourself. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this Vlogmas video here, you might actually want to check out my other two videos. Um, here's a playlist right over here. And you want, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.